one of Iowa football's projected starters at cornerback was arrested over the weekend. More on that in a moment, but a reminder first, please subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so for Hawkeye sports, football, basketball, etc. From the Hawkeye of the Storm here on YouTube, subscribe also to the podcast, Spotify, Anchor, Google, Amazon, wherever you listen to your podcasts, be sure to subscribe to this one for free. And of course, if you're interested in sponsoring the show, please reach out to me from the eye of the storm at outlook.com from the eye of the storm at outlook.com. So the news is Iowa cornerback projected starter Jamari Harris arrested over the weekend for OWI. Now, I know this is not a new occurrence. This is going to happen, unfortunately, with young individuals who are in college, who are drinking. Uh, I'm certainly not um, downplaying the severity of this um, or the seriousness of it. But uh, according to, and I'm just going to read you the narrative from the criminal complaint. Okay. So first of all, Harris, this incident occurred according to the Iowa City Police Department's criminal complaint at around 2.46 a.m. on Sunday. And according to the narrative, Jamari Harris was driving a 2015 red Dodge Dart bearing Illinois plates. And um, he was stopped actually for not having his lights on. So, you know, that seems to always be the secondary aspect of things. Uh, No reports that he was driving erratically, but it was because his headlights were off. Um, The officer wrote, and I quote, I responded to conduct an impaired driving investigation. Defendant had bloodshot, watery eyes, impaired speech, impaired balance, and smelled of ingested alcohol. Defendant admitted to drinking and exhibited measurable impairment. His BRAC, uh, his initial BRAC, uh, came back at uh, 0.112, and then his data master test was at uh, 0.096, both over the legal limit. But the point is, um, Jamari Harris made a mistake, right? I mean, this is this is the reality of life. I'm not saying it's it's right. I'm not excusing it. I'm not saying he doesn't need to have consequences here, and he will have some consequences as a result of this arrest. He, according to everything that I read in the criminal complaint, it sounds like he was compliant. Um, No report that he resisted sobriety tests, uh, but he was arrested, taken to the Johnson County Jail where he was later released. Now, Jamar Harris, you know, as I'm reading through this earlier today, my first thought is this is a young kid. And he is a young kid. I mean, all these student athletes are young. But let's remember, Jamar Harris is entering his fourth year in college. Okay, he's entering his fourth year in college. So that's an aspect. He's an upperclassman, right? Technically speaking. So um, now he could technically come back. He could actually play three more years if he wants. This is his fourth year. He could play because he redshirted the year. He'd have the free COVID year as well. But as far as implications this year, um, the open practice this coming Saturday inside Kinnick Stadium, will Jamari Harris be participating in that? My guess is no. Uh, Even if he was, if he had been participating in practice, if he hadn't been dinged up or anything like that, my guess is he will not be on the field. And I know the initial reaction from a lot of fans is, well, he's going to be suspended for a game and he'll be back. And that may very well happen. Um, I want to give you a little bit of a history lesson as it relates to OWIs at Iowa and alcohol related arrests, because it's not always black and white as far as, um, you know, legal ramifications or not legal ramifications, but ramifications within the team uh, aspect of things. One being Josiah Miaman. You remember he had a run in with police uh, about a year ago. Uh, just about a year ago at this time, I believe it was April 13th, 2021, recording this on April 18th, ironically enough. Now, according to KCRG, Channel 9 in Eastern Iowa, who reported on Miaman's arrest, uh, he had been charged with first offense, trespassing, possession of a fictitious license or ID, disorderly conduct for fighting, violent behavior, public intoxication, interference with official acts. And let me remind you, that uh, Josiah Miaman never got suspended formally for a game. And as I recall, um, he was out on the field later that spring. Okay. So I I just want to throw that out there. And I'm not saying that Ferentz excused the situation, but we have to understand that not every situation is created equal. Um, 
I also happen to know, we, I think many Hawkeye fans who have been Iowa football fans for quite some time remember the James Ferentz situations, right? Plural. Uh, he had been arrested a couple of different times. Um, and, you know, some kind of controversy about how he was suspended. Reggie Spearman, former linebacker, was um, arrested during the season, was suspended one game. You know, Kyle Callaway. Uh, had been arrested for OWI. We, you know, Alaric Jackson, we know he was suspended for breaking team rules. Amir Smith Marset had an OWI during during the season. Typically, these things happen either during summer or during the season. So when they've ha- they haven't happened much during spring practice or leading up to spring practice. And really the only example that I could come up with, Brandon Snyder is another one who um had gotten a suspension because he had an OWI during the season. But the only other viable example that I could come up with was Josiah Miaman. And I know it wasn't OWI, but boy, that's a bevy of charges he had against him. But it, it did happen in the spring. So he was suspended, we assume, for team activities. And I'd have to look back at the at the information that was published on Kirk Ferentz's decision regarding Miaman. But he was suspended for activities for a while and then came back and never actually missed live real game action. So the bottom line is Jamari Harris made a mistake. You're not going to cancel a kid. You're not going to write a kid off for that. Um, he should know better, but y- you you live with the consequences, right? Um, and he's going to pay the consequences both legally and he's going to miss some time, whether it be a game, maybe it's a half for Iowa football, or maybe it's just this week of practice, including the open date, which would certainly be a blow, especially if your parents are planning on coming to the open practice and you're not able to compete. That would be a blow to Jamari Harris. So, We'll see what happens, but he was projected as one of Iowa's starting corners. So we're probably going to see a lot of TJ Hall at corner this Saturday, assuming he's healthy, perhaps even Brendan Diaz-Fernandez. Um, and then, of course, uh, as we head into summer and fall, we've got some other guys coming in, including Deshaun Lee. So um, wish Jamari Harris all the best. A lot of upside for this young man. Again, he can be here potentially for two or three more seasons, and I have no question he will get his head on straight bounce back from this mistake and uh, hopefully he's he's going to be providing them some excellent depth whether he's a starter or not I do think Terry Roberts is going to compete with him for that spot lining up opposite of Riley Moss this fall so appreciate you tuning in once again here from the Hawkeye of the Storm again subscribe here like this video please hit the thumbs up button for this channel for this video specifically and as always turn notifications on because the next time we go live or we post a new video you'll have an alert first And so you'll be up on the latest surrounding Hawkeye Nation. We'll talk to you soon.